Hi, my name is Aaron. I'm one of the pharmacists here at SansRx, and I want to thank you for choosing SansRx for your compounding needs. In this video, we're going to talk about how to do a subcutaneous injection. If you have any additional questions following the video, please give us a call at 972-535-2020. Before we get to the injection, I want to go over the supplies that are going to come with your medication. With the medication, you will get a pack of supplies that looks like this. Inside, you will have a 10-pack of insulin syringes, a trifold that also talks about how to do a subcutaneous injection. You will receive a patient education sheet that talks about the medication. You will receive a 10-pack of alcohol swabs, and you will also receive your medication. Your medication will have a foil seal on the top, and it will come in a vial like this, and this will be inside of a plastic pill bottle. Now we are going to talk about how to prepare the syringe for a subcutaneous injection. The first step will be to wash your hands with soap and water. After washing your hands, go ahead and remove the foil from the top of the medication vial. Be aware, sometimes there is a small sheet of paper that will be left over on top of the vial. If that is the case, be sure to remove that as well. Next, we are going to clean the top of the vial with an alcohol swab. We will go ahead and open the swab and to clean the top of the vial, you want to place the alcohol swab down on the rubber, a little bit of pressure, and wipe one time across. We can now discard the alcohol swab. You do want to make sure to give the alcohol about 30 seconds to dry. While we're waiting for the alcohol to dry, we can go ahead and prepare our syringe. Please be aware that the syringes are labeled in units, and a unit is not the same thing as a milliliter. So the numbers on the barrel of the syringe for example, we'll go with the 30. This is showing 30 units. This would be equal to 0.3 milliliters. Once the alcohol is dry, we can go ahead and remove the larger orange cap to expose the barrel, the plunger that's inside the barrel on the syringe. The first thing you want to do is pull down on the plunger to the same dose that you're going to draw. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and remove the smaller orange cap to prepare to stick the syringe through the rubber. You do want to go through the center of the rubber as much as possible because you want to be careful if you put too much pressure on the sides you can potentially bend the needle. I recommend you hold the vial down on the tabletop or the counter with one hand and then with your other hand again as close to the center of the rubber as possible go straight through. Once the needle is all the way through the rubber we can go ahead and push the plunger all the way down. Being very careful here, because again, you can bend the needle, you want to flip everything over so that now the medication vial is on top of the syringe and upside down. At this point, we're ready to draw the medication into the syringe. You want to go ahead and pull down on the plunger. You want to pull a little bit slow here. The slower you pull the plunger, the less likely you are to get air bubbles into the syringe. I recommend you pull a little bit past what your dosage would be. For example, if your dose is 10 units, I would recommend you pull down to about the 15. Once we are here, we can go ahead and rotate the syringe to look for any air bubbles that are inside. It is okay if there are air bubbles inside of the syringe. They won't cause any harm, but if they are large, they can make the dose less accurate. So we'll look around for any bubbles. If you have any bubbles, you can lightly tap on the syringe, but we do not recommend to flick because we do not want to shake the medication vigorously. Once you've looked around for any bubbles, at this point we'll go ahead and push the plunger back up to our dose. Once we are there, we can flip everything over, put the vial back on the table, remove our syringe, and now we are ready to do the injection. We are now going to talk about how to inject the medication. For this type of injection, the preferred location is the stomach area, anywhere where we can pinch a little bit of fat underneath the skin. You want to be at least two inches away from the belly button, and it is recommended to rotate the site with each injection. For demonstration purposes, let's pretend this is the surface of the stomach. Take an alcohol swab and clean the injection area. To do this, place the swab down in the center and slowly make circles going outwards until the entire area is clean. After cleaning, you will want to give this about 30 seconds to dry. If you recapped your syringe after drawing your dose, go ahead and uncap now. Pinch the skin a little bit, 
and quickly insert the needle at a 45 degree angle until the needle is all the way into the skin. Release the pinch and at a moderate pace push down on the plunger. Remove the needle at the same angle it was inserted. Your injection is now complete. We recommend disposing of used syringes into a sharps container.